Hey everybody, and welcome back to To Be Like Christ. In my handy hand hand, I have a copy of the top 100 Christian biblical theological questions that were asked to Google in 2019. And in this new series, we're going to go through all 100 of these and answer them right here in two minutes or less. And once we're finished, we're going to complete a resource that's going to have all this information in it on the website, also in a book format, and that's going to be available to everybody. Now, I said two minutes or less, so this is not going to be comprehensive answers to all of these questions, but I hope that it's going to be able to at least point you in the right direction to get you thinking about some of these things. So without further ado, let us begin. The overwhelming most popular question asked on Google in 2019 is, what is love? Now, if you search what is love on Google, you'll find the definition that it is an intense feeling of deep affection. Now, that, in my opinion, is not the best definition. I think we all know that there's something a little bit more to love than just a feeling of affection. We really need some kind of standard, something to base our definition on, because we all know that in our culture, love gets used in all kinds of ways. I love my mom. I love my wife. I love pizza. I love pizza a lot. And so let's go to a source that's a lot older than Google to get a definition that's a little bit more substantial. The Bible, which tells us about the creator of human beings, roots the origins of love not in the human mind, but in the mind of the creator, God. The Bible says that love comes from God and that we have just picked it up or we've learned it from him. There are verses in the Bible like 1 John 4, 7 that says God is love. So God is the standard that we're looking for for our definition. God defines love, and we're told that we can understand love by looking at the way that God treats us. A verse like 1 John chapter 4, verse 10 helps us out. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. So how does God treat us? Well, from this text, we learn that Jesus came down from heaven to the earth to die on a cross to pay the price for our sins so that we could live in heaven with God forever. And he didn't do that for some kind of reciprocal benefit, some benefit to himself. We're never going to be able to pay God back for what he's done for us. He did it because he loved us. In some ways, it parallels a parent and a child. Babies can't pay their parents back for all the care that they give to them. So why do their parents care for them? Well, because they love them. And the Bible calls us God's children. Jesus' death on the cross is the purest, most complete, best standard from which we can understand and define love. In order to understand love, we need to understand that event. In order to understand that event, we need to understand God. In order to understand God, well, how do we do that? God has given us that ability through the Bible where God's actions and his personality and his love are laid out on the pages and the story of the scriptures. When we read about and learn about the love of God, we begin to love God ourselves. And then God helps us to reflect his love into all of our relationships so that we can love everyone properly. You can love your mom properly. You can love your wife properly. You can love pizza properly, most especially pizza. So as much as people try to define love outside of God, it can't be done. Love actually can't exist without God, but maybe that's a topic for another video. So what is love? Love is God. If you want to learn about love, learn about God. That might not be the quickest answer, but it's the best answer, and it's really the only answer. So that's the first video of our 100 video series. Thanks everybody for tuning in and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on the other 99 videos or the other videos that we do on this channel. We're doing a study through the entire New Testament on this channel throughout this year and there's notes for all of that. It's free online and I'll put some links down in the description below. Uh, the next question that we'll answer is what is the Bible? That's number two. And uh, there's a free ebook that might tell you something about that down in the link uh, below. You might wanna check that out to prepare for the next video. So I will see everybody next time for the second question, and if the Lord wills, we'll make it all the way through the 100.